The next thing that we're going to do is change the header colors. So just click on customize again and go to the header options and header colors. For the background, we're going to make it a white. So just click on this white down here and maybe we'll make it like a little off white maybe. Uh, and these are the numbers that correspond with the colors. So I've already done this. So um, I'm going to do it for F4, F4, F4. So that's going to make it, you know, just a tinge of gray in the white. Uh, then we do header text colors. And for that, I'm just going to do it like a, an off black. So we can click on black and we can drag it up here and get whatever we want. I'm just going to do a two, 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 two. And these are called hex colors. All right. And for the link color, I'm going to do the same thing. Two, 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 two. And you could just copy it from here. And for the uh, hovered color, that's when you hover over these links, what color it is. I don't want it to be a blue. I want it to be a little lighter gray. So I'm going to go again, black again. And, you know, that's fine. 56, 56, 56. All right. So once that's done, I can press save and publish. And now what we can do is we can go back again and let's uh, do the header logo. So I'm going to teach you how to put in a logo. You could just keep text in here. That's fine. Later, I'm going to show you uh, how to build a logo. I've already built the logo, so I'm just going to put it in here. But later, I'm going to show you how to uh, build a logo in just a little while. So header logo, click it right here, header logo, and select the image and select files. And I think I have it on my desktop. There it is. And I'm going to choose the image. And I'll show you how to create something like this in just a little while. Okay, so um, it says logo height. I want it to be a little bigger. So maybe right around there is looking pretty good, I think. Um, okay, and then the next thing that we're going to do is um, the header size. So we can just go here. We don't need to publish it yet. So let's just go to header size and change this. And... We can change it, make it really big, make it really small. And I, I like it about there. And then header width. So this is um, how wide it's going to be. So we want it to be full width. And you can't really see the difference now, but it's going to go all the way to this, all the way to the side. And um, let's see what that looks like. So save and publish. So before it only uh, went like right about right here. Now it's going to go all the way over here. You see the footer, it only goes to here. It starts here. It's not full width, but now it's full width. So it gives you a lot more space. So that's pretty cool. All right. So next thing, let's get rid of these buttons and um, let's put in, instead of these buttons, a phone number. So let's go to customize and header options and write header block content and click on buttons and we don't need to put buttons here even though it's called buttons and we can just you know put in our phone number and we're going to change this we're going to make this all bigger and this uh, text better and everything like that we're going to do all that later though all right then click save and publish and now your header is looking really really great